Hi, and welcome to CoView. This short video will explain CoView's basic features to help prepare for your first call. To use CoView, you and your call participants will need a device such as a computer with a webcam, a tablet or a smartphone with a good internet connection and a recommended web browser. Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge are the recommended web browsers on most devices. When using iPhones and iPads, the Safari web browser is recommended. You can log into your account from the CoView homepage, www.coview.com, or through your CoView Clinic web address. If your organisation has white-labelled CoView, this may be your enterprise's portal address. Don't forget to save this address as a bookmark. Sign in by using your email address and the password you created when you set up your account. CoView has a number of ways you can host a call with your client or patient. This allows us to replicate a number of clinical workflows. The way you host a call depends on the decisions you or your organisation has made regarding your workflows. If you are not sure which option your organisation has chosen, check in with your telehealth coordinator. The first way you can host a call is through the waiting area. Once you have signed in, you will arrive at your dashboard showing the waiting area. The waiting area is similar to the physical waiting area in your clinic, as this is where all your clients or patients will go before their appointments. The web address which you provide to your client or patient is the virtual front door. The second way to host a call is through your user room. User rooms are virtual consultation rooms, equivalent to the private consultation rooms in a physical practice. Each provider has their own user room, which is defined by its user room link. Having a unique user room link ensures your patient always knows where to join the consultation. CoView also has another type of room called meeting rooms. Meeting rooms are similar to user rooms, except they can be used by any team member for hosting meetings or consultations. In larger clinics, it is more common to join your client or patient in the waiting area. There are a number of ways you can invite a client or patient to a consultation in your waiting area. The first is by clicking the send an email or SMS button and following the prompts. The second is by copying your waiting area web address to share in a number of ways. Some options include adding the link to a booking confirmation email template or an online booking system invitation template or adding it as a button to your telehealth website. When your patient receives the invitation, they simply click on the consultation link follow the prompts and wait with music until you're ready to see them. The waiting area lists all the people either waiting for or participating in a video consultation with your service. For each client or patient, you'll be able to view key information such as their name and telephone number. Complete patient information is available by clicking the drop-down arrow next to participants. The patient intake form fields are configurable. If you would like to receive an alert every time a patient enters the waiting area, click on Waiting Area Alerts and choose your preferred alert method. If you would like to set an SMS alert, click the drop-down arrow and turn on Send SMS Alerts. Enter your mobile phone number and click Save. The process is similar for email alerts and desktop alerts. To communicate with a waiting client or patient prior to the consultation, click the Notify button type your message and click send. This can be done by you or someone else on your behalf, provided they are also a member of your clinic. Now that you are ready to see your client or patient, click join call. You can also add another participant to your call from the waiting area by clicking add to call. This might be a family member or carer joining the call from another device. To invite other people into the current call, such as another provider, click the Call Manager button. Then click Invite Participant to send a message with a link to join the call. Type in their name and click either Send Email Invitation or Send SMS Invitation to add their details. Click Invite to send the invitation. In the call interface, you will see both your picture and your client or patient. Clicking on their video feed will provide you with different size options for their video feed. You can mute your microphone or camera if required by clicking on the icons at the top left of your video feed. 
You can mute your client or patient by clicking on the speaker icon on their video feed. At the top right of the call screen, you will see several icons including chat. Click to start a chat with your client or patient within the video call. Click the arrow to close the chat interface. To see the list of tools available within your call, click the Tools Plus button to open up a selection of tools you can use during your consultations, including share an image or PDF, share a screen share, or add a whiteboard and more. Let's start by adding a whiteboard. The whiteboard is great for explaining and planning things together. Once open, the annotation toolbar appears, which provides you with a number of tools. As we go through other tools, you'll see the annotations toolbar appear at the top of many of them. To learn more about using the whiteboard and other tools, visit our Help Centre. Share an image or PDF allows you to share and annotate documents with your client or patient, such as nutritional information or assessments. Start a screen share allows you to share your screen with your client or patient. Options for sharing your screen include the whole screen, a specific application window, or a specific browser tab. We have many more tools available to enhance your telehealth experience. Visit our marketplace at coview.com forward slash add-ons to explore the range. If you experience any technical issues during the call, click the refresh button to refresh the call. The Settings button allows you to change or set your default camera, microphone or speakers. For example, to switch to a headset or to use another camera. Click the arrow to the right of Device Settings or the Settings cog to close this panel. If you need to speak to our friendly support team, click on the Help button at the bottom of your call window. From here, you can access our help articles or chat with one of our support team. When your consultation is over, click the Hang Up button. The first option is to simply end the call. If you have finished the consultation and there are no further actions required, then click the End Call button. The Leave Call button may be used in a number of circumstances. For example, if you have finished your part in a multi-party call and need to leave the conversation, you can click the red Hang Up button and then choose Leave Call. The call will continue with the remaining participants. After ending your call, you may be directed to a post-call survey. The post-call survey is a configurable option. For more in-depth training and tips, sign up to our CoView Academy or visit our website Help Centre or YouTube channel.